As part of efforts to tackle the stigma and denial suffered by victims of rape, child molestation and domestic violence, the CC Yara Foundation has organized a stakeholders meeting in Somolu local government area of Lagos State. Our correspondent Destiny Mama was there and now reports. Year after year, there are cases of violence of all kinds, mostly without closure. Activists point to a legal system which they say makes it hard to convict suspected violators and blames victims. We realize that a lot of people live in silence. And in this time of Sorosuke, this is the real time to Sorosuke, to speak out. Enough is enough. We shouldn't be quiet about, you know, rape, domestic violence or child molestation anymore. And we realize that a lot of parents are afraid. They also encourage their children and wards to keep quiet because they don't want trouble, they don't want court case and all that. And they don't even know where to get help. So we brought to them, you know, how to get help, where to get help, to make them understand the psychological effect of this or psychosocial. When you talk about pedophiles, um, a lot of times the case of um, pedophiles is not exclusive. It's not just about the pedophile himself. He has enab enablers. It's either the parents are enabling or the guardians are enabling and all that. So I think that as much as possible, we need to make this a holistic approach. Parents, guardians need to begin to pay attention to their child, to their children, and see how are they encouraging them to, um, how they're encouraging them to suffer this pedophilic act and all that. So it's a, it's a very tough thing to do and it's a very painful thing. But we just need to keep talking and we need to keep sensitizing and educating people and encouraging the children to speak up as well. In Shomolu, Lagos community leaders are beginning to join the campaign against violence and stigmatization. They'll be able to address all those injustices. and We have the police there. They'll be able to call the excesses. And uh, our, our own uh, function is basically to make laws. But the execution is not us. It's not for us to enforce the law. Judiciary is supposed to enforce the law. Why the executive execute the law? Domestic violence has been one of the most perverse violations of human rights in the world. The least prosecuted crime, one of the greatest threats for the lasting peace and development. Today, we are here to join hands together and fight this injustice against our girls, child, and women. To this end, there is need for policies and legislation that will curb violence in Nigeria and also ensure that victims get the justice they deserve. Abuse in all its forms has become a daily experience between girls, boys, women, and sometimes men alike. Child molestation, domestic violence, rape are all the menaces that people experience in our society. In this time and the era of Sorosuke, it's time for people to get sensitized and talk about their experiences and so that the guilt will not embolden their hearts. From Lagos, Nigeria, Destiny Momo reporting for Plus TV Africa. Thanks to Destiny Momo for that report. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.